Hey, polished friends. What's your favorite flavor of ice cream? How about mint chocolate chip? Any thoughts? Keep watching. I'll show you. To create the ice cream look, I grab my Tropical Punch L004 plate from Born Pretty and layer these images on top of each other. From top to bottom, there's the ice cream, the cone, the sprinkles, and the details of the cone. I use these colors from Maniology to create the palette. I'll have them listed in the description box below. When shopping Maniology, use my code ALWAYS10 for 10% off your purchase. I'm not sure if my pinky and my ring finger are the accent nails, or my index and middle finger are the accent nails, but either way, I paint my pinky and my index finger with this color from China Glaze. I've already suited up with the base coat, so let's get started. To make this color pop more, you could put an undercoat of white, but I didn't want to get into all that, so I just do three coats of this on my pinky, and because I went a little bit thicker, I end up only doing two coats on my index finger. Stamping can be messy, so I add a layer of liquid latex to my ring finger and middle finger. Doing this on camera is pretty new to me, so let me know in the comments if I should just skip showing this step. So I don't know why I did it this way either, but after applying my liquid latex, I realized I need a white base color. So now I add my white base coat. I don't know, that was kind of a silly move on my part, but whatever, I make it work. I add two coats of the white because I don't want the stamp to be streaky. Like, you know what I mean? Like the streakiness of the white polish to show through on the stamp. Except on my ring finger, I just made it a thick first coat. I never show this bottle, but I do list it in the comments below. This is my Glisten and Glow Top Coat. It's just called Top Coat. It is the best top coat that I've found. It's comparable to Sesh Vite, but Sesh Vite doesn't dry as fast. And let me tell you how many manis this polish has saved me. I have bumped my hands, I don't know how many times, right after polishing with the top coat. And they don't bump, they don't nick, they don't chip, they don't dent. It's a miracle worker. Um, I think the website is glistenandglow.com. It's an indie brand and you should really check it out. It's worth it. Shipping is a little expensive, but again, it's worth it. I pay it every time. I add a layer of Maniology sticky base coat to my white ring and middle nails basically because I'm layering stamping, layered stamping, whatever you want to call it. But let's be real, the lights around here are making it a little difficult for when I stamp. Oh, that's my thumb. Okay. On my ring finger, I decide to start with the ice cream. You'll see later why that's kind of a mistake. I finally replaced my stamper's stamp head. Can you tell? No more hairs and cracks and looks better. Yeah, I'm definitely having trouble right there, but rocking it back and forth gently did the trick. So these are the sprinkles, but I'm going to use them as the mint or the chocolate, the chocolate chips in my mint chocolate chip ice cream. And I'm convinced these things don't line up because I had so much trouble with them, not just here, but on my other finger as well. I just, so I just place them. It's fine. Whatever. People aren't going to be looking at my nails that closely and if they are, we've got a problem. Next is the cone and this is why I should have done the cone first. When you have ice cream that's kind of melting over the cone, that's just it. The ice cream is over the cone. So I'm stamping the cone over the ice cream. That, doesn't really make a lot of sense and it looks it looks okay but it does look better the other way around and it's a little easier that way as well you'll see with my middle finger 
So these are the details on the cone. I don't, I don't really know what else to call them besides details. So we'll just go with that. This cleanup part is important. It separates the polish from the liquid latex. That way I don't rip anything off that I don't want to when I remove my liquid latex, which I'm gonna do right now because why procrastinate and put off what you could do now? Next, I add a layer of Maniology Smudge Free Top Coat because, I don't know, it just works. It's water-based and it doesn't smudge my polishes. I'm a little apprehensive to use it right after a black polish, but the sprinkles, they, it's been a little while since, or the mint chips, uh, it's been a little while, so I'm good. After that dries for a few minutes, I add my Glisten and Glow Top Coat and I'm ready to move on. For my middle finger, I do everything in reverse. I do the cone, the details, then the ice cream, and then the mint chips. I still have a hard time with those things, whatever. I do my cleanup and remove my liquid latex. And do you see what I mean? It just looks better doing the ice cream last. I do the smudge free top coat and the glisten and glow top coat. Then just to the cone area, I add a matte top coat to give it a little oomph. And here's the finished totally yummy look. Is this manicure for you? Let me know in the comments below. I also wanna know what you wanna see next. What kind of nails do you like? Landscapes, animals, water. Let me know. I want to hear you. This look was time consuming, but totally worth it. Tag me in your recreations on Instagram at Always Polished Life. I love to see what you come up with. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel, it helps me grow. Click the bell to never miss a video. And I'll see you next time.